Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, um, how are we doing for this uh, Monday, guys? We were getting through it or what? It is Monday afternoon, and it is 2.20. I spent the whole day, most of the day, in the doctor's office. From 10, quarter after 10 till now, I was in the doctor's office. Um, it was a complete, complete mess. When I talk about a shit show, it was a shit show. And I am, I got the shakes a little bit. That's how pissed off I am. Um, first off, it started, they, they let you sit in the, uh, the waiting room. I was in that waiting room over an hour. Then they brought me back into the room and had me sit back there for another 45 minutes. He came in, examined me, did what all he did. I was a little pissed. I thought, I was like, yeah, doc. I was like, I mean, come on, bro. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, I'm backed up a little bit. All right, cool. Then he hits me what he wants me to get blood work done. When's the last time you had blood work done, Pete? I said, ah, oh, probably about six months ago, eight months ago. He goes, well, I want you to have blood work done. You know, I, you know, I said, can this be? I said, really, right now? And just so happened, I was running late this morning and running around, and I didn't eat. So I said, can I get the blood work done now? Because it's only right down the hallway. It's in the same building. He said, if you want, yeah, go down there. I'll write you the slip. Go down there, get the blood work done, and that's it. I go down there. There's like seven people waiting to get blood work done. So I waited like an hour an hour plus doing that, right? So all said and done, guys, I got all my blood work done, my doctor visits done, and it's it. That's it. So um, I, I went to the mailbox earlier this morning. This already came, and I was trying to get home. I wanted to do this video so bad. Um, anyway, uh, bear with me. These are my Battle Horse Knives. Now, a lot of people are not going to hear of Battle Horse Knives. You're just not. There's not There's not a video out there on Battle Horse Knives. Anyway, um, these are one of my favorite. Well, I got two companies that I really, really love. It's Battle Horse Knives, which you see here, and GEC. So, I saw this knife... Uh, it came out, um, I would have never known that this piece came out if it wasn't for Danny from these knives, okay? He did a video on one of his fixed blades, an LT right. You have to see the knife he bought. Please go over and look at the knife he bought. Uh, it's an LT right. But anyway, he told me where he got that. And I looked on his website and I saw these. I was like, oh, no, I'm not seeing what I'm saying. So they're called J. The company is called right here. JSR Sports and More right there. There you go. W W. Here's the website. You can pause, read it. Um, but that's that's the website. I would have never known if Danny uh, from these knives did not put that video out on the knife he just bought from there. I would have never known, because you don't know. But here it is. Um, it, guys, this knife is just absolutely, I, I can't explain to you, I, I just can't explain it. Um, it is in 01 tool steel, all of these knives here. They do their knives in 01 tool steel. That's what they like to do their knives in. Um, it's got a false uh, swedge up top here that is just absolutely beautiful. There's, But we're going to get to the part that there's something a little wrong. We're going to get here. Just bear with me. The edge is, I mean, so sharp. It's unbelievable how sharp the edge is on this thing. I cut some paper with it already. It went through it like you didn't even hear it going through the paper. Um, 
01 tool steel, like I said, uh, the handles are in desert ironwood. I mean, the most beautiful desert ironwood that I've ever seen in my life with white liners. If I could get in close to give you a shot of those liners, I want you to see how beautiful these liners are. I mean, it just really goes, I mean, it's, it's fascinating. These are um, like 100% handmade. These are not coming off of no assembly line. Battle horse knives are handmade knives. They are handmade knives. I forget what they source out. I'm not sure. I don't know what they source out, guys, but I know I cannot call it a custom. I might be able to call it a custom. I'm not sure. But everything is done uh, by hand. All, all of it. So I'm not sure if I, maybe I could call it a custom. Um, but there are, um, you're going to get like little imperfect, all of these have like little imperfections on them because like I said, they're all handmade. Um, so you're going to get, you have to expect that. But this is just a fantastic piece to the collection, guys. I can't get over how beautiful this piece is. Now I'm going to show you an imperfection. When I talk about handmade knives, I'll show you. Now, I'm asking you guys, would you send this back? I'm going to show you in a minute. I'll flip it over. And there it is. The tip. Do you see how the tip got scuffed? There's like a scuffing on the uh, tip up here and here. Now, is that right there? There you go. You can see it. Is that something that you would send back? Is that something that you guys would send back? That's the only thing that I really saw. See it? I'm about as close as I could get with it. Would you send that back? so it is what it is i mean it's it's a handmade knife and that scuff there what, what am i you know what i mean i'm not gonna really cry about that you know what i mean or should i um you know it's not a cheap knife it's not a you're not looking at 10 bucks now i mean so should i be nitpicky over the price i mean the price I, i'm not ashamed to say the price the price was 175 dollars I paid 175 at it, uh, 175 bucks, and most of this came from uh, a jug of change that I cashed in. Yes, it what? Well, yes, it did. Um, but that's not important right now. What is important is would you turn this knife back in or send it back in? Other, um, I don't know, but um. They come, now I already put one coat, um, it's drying right now. This is the most, they come with the most beautiful sheaths um, that you could find on a knife. I mean, they are so, this thing gets so soft. All of my battle horse knives, after I treat them like 10 times, <laughs> uh, over time, I treat them like 10 times, they get, this leather gets so soft, and after I stick it in the sheath, the knife, I start forming it. And it just becomes a part. It just actually becomes a part of the knife. It really does. But this is like, I mean, it just, well, you could tell. I mean, it really soaked in. As um, soon as I put it on, it just went. But um, it's only got one coat on it right now. And it's got a lot of coats to go before it's going to become that soft, supple, how I like it. So that's that. That's the uh, sheath to give you a look at that. And, um, but yeah, this is, this is it. I mean, this is all of my battle horse knives. And um, I just absolutely fell in love with this piece because... Well, 
I'm trying to get my battle horse uh, collection. Um, you know, I, 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 I've got a love for battle horse knives. And um, like I said, when I seen this one, I, it was a no brainer. Um, I just had to, I had to get it, especially in a uh, desert ironwood scales. Look at that wood. I mean, oh man, and those bird's eye uh, rivets, those brass bird's eye rivets. It just, it's going to be um, a beautiful collectible to hand down. This is a this is a knife that that gets hand that gets hand down. All these knives here, um, this is what represent. You know, this is what is me. You know what I mean? This is me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a look at that. I did already uh, take a shot of it and put it on Instagram. Um, not that you care and you want to go over there on Instagram and look at it. But what I'm saying is if you're on Instagram, you might want to take a look at it. You know what I mean? It's not, you know. Anyway, um, I am tired. I do would I, I still haven't eaten. I do want to get something to eat. And, uh, but I wanted to show you this first. Let me get your thoughts on it. And would you turn that back in over, uh, it's a scuff, that's all it is. See it right there? You can see it good there, right there. That's a scuff. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just anal, you know, it's pissing me off that that's there and there's nothing I could do about that. I can't get that out. I don't think I could get that out anyway because if I could, I'd try, but I don't want to mess it up no more neither. So I, I, I don't know what I want to do there. So you could see it good there. So that's what it is. I got it's on the tip there, and it, it's on the tip. So I don't know. Should I call them up, or what should I do, or just leave it be? You guys tell me what you would do. But that's uh, that's it. That's the battle horse. That's the new battle horse knife Bronco. It's called the Bronco. And um, I love it. I mean, it feels great in hand. I mean, you're getting four fingers on it with no problem. I mean, it's just a fantastic fixed blade. You know what I mean? These are, I mean, you really got to be into fixed blades. I mean, these are all high-end fixed blades, you know? But, um, but they're made so well. Um, I love them because they're all handmade. And, and, and you can't get these... I mean, you, you can't get these just, you know, anywhere. You, you can't. You can't. So, all right, guys. I'm going to let you dance down the road. Uh, drop me a comment, please. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what's going on. And, um, yeah, man. And uh hope everyone is doing well. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, if you can, drop me a comment. Greatly appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys real soon. You guys take care. Be well, be good, and be safe. All right, guys. Take care.